Scorpio, hello and welcome to your November 2021 general reading. Well, it is a bit of a different format than I usually do because as you know, or hopefully you know, normally I do weekly readings that um, one video for all 12 star signs, if that makes sense. Um, and I will be going back or shall be going back to that format in December, but I thought for November I'm gonna separate the videos and film one video per star sign because it allows us to go um, that little bit deeper. Now remember before we do anything here, 11 is a master number and November just so happens to be the 11th month of the year and therefore the master number 11, which is the strongest number of all master numbers, will help amplify whatever it is the guides us, uh, will be saying to you, if that makes sense, right? So Scorpios, <clears throat> what we will do is we will separate these, the areas slightly. We will have a look at the overall energy or literally what the guides have to say to you, what to look at um, or what to pay attention to in November. And then we go into your emotions, which could be um, emotional turmoil that needs to go, or maybe there's love coming in for you. So we're going to look at that um, area before we then go into opportunities, which are mostly, well, usually at least, really about what sustains you financially um, and what to, again, look at in um, November. So yeah, shall we start? Let's do that. So let's have a look what we got for the month of November for the star sign of Scorpio. Scorpios, you have the TP, the Calumet and the Elk. In November of 2021, the thing you ought to be looking at is literally your home, whom you're sharing it with, how the energy is inside your home and the middle card of the three here is the one we pay the most attention to. So you have the TP, the Calumet and the Elk. Now the Calumet, I don't know if you can see this here, the Calumet is a pipe <clears throat> and it's a heating pipe if that makes sense. Um, and so what happens here, even though it is a pipe that is not plate, if that makes sense, it's a pipe that is being smoked. <coughs> but smoke is all about cleansing, it's all about clearing the clutter, right? Clearing, clearing away stuff that is no longer needed. And so therefore, while nobody is asking you to uh, pick up the habit of smoking, I certainly won't, <coughs> you have the calumet in the middle. And because the main message of the Calumet is to make home, if that makes sense, um, your safe haven. Are you feeling at ease at home? Are you feeling great at home? Does your home represent your spiritual safe haven? Is this the place where you can charge your battery? Is this the place from where and from which you can actually um, manifest new beginnings, explore new ideas, because that's what is asked of you today to assess your home and then create that space. And if that means that you have to, you know, tell people that you share your home with, um, that they are part of the problem here, that they might be the reason why there is no harmony, then at least you have to speak up because your outgoing energy is the elk. And every time you have an animal with antlers, it means you're fully protected by your, by your guides. It means now is the time for you to speak up, right? So while you know who you share your home with, uh, home with and you know how versatile, uh, sorry, volatile I meant, how volatile they can be, um, the guides are not trying to put you in, in, uh, at risk here, but it is important to speak out and to make sure that your home is a safe space. If that is not something you can do easily, then that in itself is an answer. The advice from the guides 
is for you to assess the quality of your life inside your home and identify any obstacles in your home that keep the home from being harmonious and literally speak up about it because then maybe it can be fixed right so that is the main thing for the oval energy for um, the star sign of scorpio for the month of november 2021 you are watching energy and star sign readings with myself thomas Janak. please like subscribe and share these videos widely and now we're going into the next era uh, area which is emotions to be fair, the overall energy and the very fact that you have to or to assess your home <coughs> um, will bring up emotions. But here we're going a little deeper and, and, and having a look at what's going on in your life. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> With regards to your emotions, Scorpios. You have the Canada goose, the opossum and the grey wolf. Now the opossum is the animal in the middle, so we pay the most attention to the one that is flanked by two more. But we're starting with the incoming energy. Your incoming energy is the Canada goose. And the message of the Canada goose, because you know this goose flies for thousands of miles before she lands again, therefore the message is patience. With regards to emotional turmoil that you have gone through and you have been through or maybe that you are going through right this moment Scorpios there is still stuff that isn't quite maybe ready to be released right which is why um, patience is required no point getting irate if that makes sense right um, because it, it doesn't fix things quicker that makes sense. Your middle animal though is the opossum and the opossum is a bit like the mouse in in the sense that as rodents um, they're not scared of heights and what that translates to is that you know and you see the world for exactly what it is and so trust what you're seeing don't paint a nicer picture right of the things you're seeing be on the ball even if the timing is not yet quite ready um, to bring about massive changes. Your outgoing energy though is the grey wolf and the grey wolf is the leader of the pack. This is all designed because it is, a, it is an extension of the overall energy here. It is all designed for you to realize that what your soul at this point in time, and I get the word graving, so what, the, what your soul really graves, Scorpios, is harmony, is peace, within and in a way this is the way i feel this is the autonomy to say what it is you want to say whenever you want to say it without being worried um that you might be misunderstood or or even um cut down as you speak if that makes sense really really important the energies here <clears throat> energetically speaking are also a little heavy so this feels to me that a lot of the things that aren't working in your emotional life is because they you probably have learned to live with it and what the guides are saying is this is now the month 11 with the energy uh, extra powerful energy uh, behind you so to speak this is the month to fully assess where you are at now if you are a person that lives on your own and you kind of go like what does this have to do with me this has got everything to do with you because if there's no one in your life right now and the guides are bringing up the need to be patient then it is a need to be patient with yourself right you have come a long way you have been through a lot of stuff but there's still some stuff that hasn't been released yet so right the first step is always to realize that there has there is something that needs to be looked at if that makes sense and so what they're saying to you is when you start looking at stuff you become the wolf you become the leader of your pack you are then the person that says not dealing with this and maybe therefore not engaging with another person is really not 
a good idea. Okay, so that's the emotional um, area for Scorpios in the month of November 2021. Finally, and lastly, we are looking at finances, opportunities, so to speak. And let's see what you got. Wow, you got another wolf. You got a swan, a butterfly and a caribou. I mean, <laughs> what the guides are saying to you is be in charge. It's a big difference between being in charge and being in control. This is not a month I feel or I've been made to feel um, where being in control is easy to achieve. Hey, mouse. Hey. Right. But this is a month for you to be in charge of your affairs. Hey, Mol. Right. So they're asking you to really be the person that look at your hey, Molly, that looks at your um, life, your 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 work life more or less, um, and see where it is going. Assessment is really really important. And then moving on from that, you have the swan. And the swan is a water bird that sort of needs to be waterproof before it can swim. Sorry, Molly, this isn't a, a scratch pole. This is a, a this is a selfie stick. Sorry, that's what happens when you got cats. <laughs> so you have the swan <clears throat> as the second of four animal guides in. And the swan here is an adult swan. So what the guides are saying to you is you are already an adult swan. You can literally assess the situation from the point of, yeah, I know exactly what's going on here and or I know exactly what I want because you have the butterfly and the caribou. And the butterfly is the animal that tells you it's time for you to transform. You are more than ready for new beginnings. And the caribou is literally an encouragement animal guide here saying to you, I'm the caribou, also known as the reindeer, <laughs> and I have a split hoof. And as life gets difficult, you are not sinking in. So you therefore, with regards to your opportunities, um, you can be a bit more daring. It feels to me, based on the energy that I'm getting, that really out of the four animals here, the wolf, the swan, the butterfly and the caribou, it is only the wolf who is a proper doer. The, the butterfly isn't a predator, the swan isn't a predator, the caribou really isn't a predator and the wolf is one of those predators that is more interested in more interested in running a, um, a pack than in fighting you, right? So what that means is that opportunities cannot be forced. It is not helpful if you're pushy. What they're asking you is to assess your life, and if you feel that where you are at right now, opportunities aren't really there. Nothing is really happening. Then maybe you have to expand which is one of the areas here that the butterfly talks about um, and or move on. Now, what I'm getting is, is the scenario of um, people being self-employed um, and the feeling is not to give up and not to just throw things away because things aren't happening. But maybe because that's the energy that the guides give me here. <coughs> maybe it is good for you to expand a little. Is there anything you could add to what you're doing? Right. Um, maybe you can wear more than one hat. Um, so you, you attract a different type of clientele for different things in your life. Therefore, you can offer more as an easier way or, or, or then a more safe way, um, a safer way for you to be sustained. Right. So ultimately, guys, that's all I got for the month of November. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you will keep watching. Um, because I'm going back to the regular weekly readings in December, provided the majority of the listenership, uh, viewership, sorry, wants me to. If all of a sudden, you know, everybody writes to me like, oh, continue this. If there's an overwhelming interest in this, um, then I will probably have to find a way to record 12 videos a month instead of just four. Right? 
Okie dokie, I hope this helps. Please share the video widely and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.